welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome to my Vlogmas. If you're new to this channel, my name's Fortuna. I'm the founder of a brand called It Really Works. Vitamins! We have been in Forbes as the best nutrition innovation 2019 and 18, and we're so sure that you'll have thicker, healthier hair that will refund you if you don't. Check us out at itreallyworksvitamins.com and get free worldwide shipping to most destinations. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove dry skin, dirt, DHT and sebum from your scalp using exfoliant scrubs. The reason we do this is to clear away anything that could be blocking the pathways of our hair follicles, stopping them from growing to their fullest potential. It's important to keep the scalp clean and nourished. And if you're doing this consistently, you'll start to notice that your hair could be growing at a better rate than normal and less hair will be shedding. So your hair is going to start looking thicker and fuller. All of the ingredients in the scrub are natural and you can find them in your kitchen cabinets. The scrubs that I'm about to show you work really, really well, but the trick is you've got to be consistent at least once per week waggling my finger at you. <laughs> Before applying the scrub, it's really important to do a patch test. So what's a patch test? When you mix your, together your scrub, after you follow the recipe that I'm about to show you, a little bit in an inconspicuous place, for example, behind your ear. Leave it for 24 hours. If you don't have any irritation, then you're good to go and Bob's your uncle. As ever, I'm not a doctor or a pharmacist. These are natural homemade remedies that are likely to exfoliate your scalp and encourage healthy hair growth. Let's have a little bit of a quick recap. Why is it important to exfoliate the scalp? About four millimeters under our hair, our follicles start to grow. If we imagine that our scalp is soil and for beautiful plants or flowers to grow, it needs to be healthy and nourished. But for example, if the patch of soil is covered in gravel or it's in a really polluted area, then this can damage anything that grows there. So for our scalp, pollutants, dead skin cells, sebum, as well as dihydrotestosterone, they can build up on the scalp soon after we've washed our hair. So let's quickly go through why all of these are really bad for healthy, normal hair growth. First up, pollutants. Whenever we're outside, microscopic particles from car and plane exhausts, soot, dust and grime are settling onto our hair and scalp and this can lead to damage to our hair follicles and scalp irritation, including dandruff. Dandruff is a scalp condition that causes itchy flakes to appear on the scalp. Using a good exfoliant can ensure that dandruff is removed from the scalp and the scalp is cleaned properly. These scrubs I'm about to share also get rid of excess sebum. Our scalp and face contain the highest concentration of glands, and our face in particular has as many as 900 sebaceous glands per square centimetre. <laughs> We need sebum to keep our hair and skin healthy, but when you have too much sebum, it can actually cause acne. Sebum can clog up the pores on the scalp, making it much harder for hair to actually grow to its fullest potential, especially when hair is transitioning from its resting phase to the growing phase. Another great job that the scalp scrub is doing is exfoliating away at DHT. Dihydrotestosterone is an altered, more active form of testosterone. It's present in both guys and girls, and it's produced in the testes in guys, as well as the skin and liver in women. The enzyme 5-alpha reductase is responsible for turning excess testosterone into DHT. When flowing around your bloodstream, DHT binds itself to genetically susceptible hair follicles and shrinks them. This process is called miniaturization. Over time, the hair follicle shrinks and eventually dies and no new hair can grow there. This is androgenetic alopecia or male pattern baldness. Before the whole process of miniaturization kicks in, it's a really good idea to exfoliate the dihydrotestosterone from the scalp. A good scalp scrub scours away all of the DHT, the pollutants, the sebum, and the dandruff and excess skin on your scalp, leaving your hair to grow to its fullest potential. I know I keep saying fullest potential throughout this video. Don't worry about writing down the recipe for all of the scalp scrubs that I'm about to show you because I have put them into my beautiful handy DHT blocking book that I have created myself. This is my ebook. Check it out, the link is in the description. Everything you need to know about blocking DHT from itreallyworksvitamins.com. The book includes a recipe for a homemade scalp exfoliant and the best foods and drinks that help to block DHT and regrow your hair. The link is in the description below. If you are enjoying this video, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe. If you just click the subscribe button and the thumbs up, we'll be so grateful. Thank you. 
caffeine mask that we're going to talk about contains just honey, coffee powder, and olive oil. It's also thought that a scalp massage may help to dilate blood vessels beneath the skin, thereby encouraging hair growth. Since caffeine is a stimulant, it also increases blood circulation to hair follicles. This too can help hair grow faster and become stronger, giving the appearance of fuller, thicker hair. So let's run through what we're going to need for our DHT homemade exfoliant scrub. Let's go to the kitchen. One plastic bottle, a blender, a plastic funnel, and can I just say, it's a really good idea to get a set of plastic funnels. I find these really useful for all your homemade hair masks and hair growth treatments and hair oils. Just a top tip. You'll also need one whole lemon, a cucumber, activated charcoal. I use a brand called Procol. They also make a mud mask, which is really good. It like cleans and like purifies your skin. It's really good. This is an advert. I bought all this stuff. <laughs> You'll also need salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt, but you can also use sea salt. First of all, we're going to juice our lemon. Lemon juice is a great source of vitamin C, which can boost your immune system and reduce inflammation. When applied to the scalp, lemon juice helps to absorb excess oils that lead to a greasy, unhealthy scalp. In this way, lemon juice also helps to eradicate dandruff. Lemon juice can also make your hair look shinier, especially after you've been in the sun. Cucumber juice is extremely good for your hair and scalp. It contains silicon, sulfur and vitamins including vitamin A, C, silica, potassium, alkaline materials, manganese, magnesium which collectively stop hair fall and promote healthy hair. Before I forget to mention if you're enjoying this video please do subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. My goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of June. I think it's a bit unrealistic. I'm putting it out there for the universe to know about. So if you're loving our videos and you're finding them handy please do subscribe and feel free to share, uh, share them with anyone who you think might find them useful. Thank you! I've added the lemon juice and the cucumber into the blender. Next we add half a tablespoon of our salt and half a teaspoon of our activated charcoal. Activated charcoal also helps to cleanse your scalp of lots of impurities and removes the sebum and deep cleanses the pores. It unclogs the pores in your scalp and detoxifies hair follicles. This makes your scalp a better environment for hair growth. Then we're going to blend. You won't need to add water to this, it's better that it stays really concentrated and don't worry if there's lots of lumps because we're going to sieve it through in the next step. So get quite a wide jug and your sieve. We sieve it through and then it's a good idea to spend a little bit of time just kind of hammering it like through the sieve. It takes a little bit of a while um, but you, you just end up getting lots more of the cucumber juice out of the mixture. So I like to spend just like five minutes or so just hammering it through really. Back five years ago, I ended up setting up my own hair vitamins company. We've been featured in Men's Health magazine, we've been in Forbes as the best nutrition innovation 2018 and 19. Try our product, if you don't love it, if you don't see any results, then just we'll give you a refund, as simple as that. We've had 13,000 customers worldwide so far. Most of our customers are in the US and a lot of people are in India, Canada. A huge number in Australia, so it is pretty cool. If you've exp been experiencing hair loss, try the 90 day challenge. And if you don't love us, then we will refund you. You'll get free shipping and a coupon code, which I'm putting in here. Now we're going to funnel it through into our plastic bottle. It's always easier, I find, to get some kitchen roll and put that down first of all, and funnel slowly because, oh my God, the amount of times I've just spilled everything everywhere. You think it's gonna be fine, and then whatever hair treatment you're making, is oh, it just goes 
goes everywhere. And here we have our DHT exfoliant scrub. Also, don't forget to pick up your free ebook, Everything You Need to Know About Blocking DHT, from itreallyworksvitamins.com. The book includes a recipe for a homemade scalp exfoliant and the best foods and drinks that help to block DHT and regrow your hair. The link is in the description below. It would also be amazing if you could give our video a big thumbs up. When you like a video, it sends a signal to YouTube that this is a useful video and it starts sharing that video with other viewers. So if you could, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, guys. In this little bit of footage, I actually didn't have the microphone on. So what I'm trying to tell you here <laughs> is to get an old towel and wrap it around your shoulders. And I also tell you that that's the, the reason that I'm wearing black today is because the formula is black black so if it just goes on an old t-shirt or a black top it's fine but just please don't wear anything really nice to do this <laughs> so you're going to need to give yourself at least 10 15 20 minutes to spray the scrub all over yeah, your, your scalp. Also take some time to massage yeah, the scrub, scrub yeah, into it, your scalp. That really helps to exfoliate the scalp and to remove any kind of dead skin cells, sebum, and of course the DHT, which is what we're getting at. Just so you know, I prefer using spray bottles as I think they're a little bit less messy, but I sometimes do just open this up and you can just pour it directly onto the scalp and massage it if you think it will take a long time. Top tip. Scalp scrubs remove dandruff, excess oil, and build up. They rebalance and boost circulation. In this Vogue article, Steve Shile, Scientific Director at L'Oreal UK, said that a good exfoliation helps keep the environment hair grows in, the scalp, balanced and nourished. From stimulating circulation and sloughing off dead skin cells and flakes, to eliminating product buildup at scalp level. Better hair growth and mirror-like shine is but a scrub away. Shampoo alone won't cut it. You need a scrub to effectively remove excess sebum and product residue and leave the scalp surface feeling clean and refreshed, which they are better able to do thanks to natural exfoliating ingredients. We've also talked about scalp massage in some of our other videos. Massaging your scalp dilates small arteries within your scalp that increase the blood flow to the follicles. Scalp massage for hair loss also reduces stress. And as we all know, stress can worsen hair loss. So I've been applying the, it to my scalp, as you can see, and it's all like bleeding out. Do this on a day where you don't have to see anyone. <laughs> Before I forget to mention, before you apply the DHT exfoliant scrub all over your scalp, remember to do a patch test. So what I normally do is I would dip a cotton bud into the fluid and dab it a little bit behind my ear. And when you've got no reaction to it, leave it for about 24 hours. When there's no reaction to it, you're good to go. Word of warning before you put it all over your scalp and then have some sort of weird allergic reaction to lemon or something. Don't want that, do not want that. So guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Please do let me know if you think there are any ingredients that I could do with adding into the exfoliant scrub or other exfoliant scrubs you've heard of that are great for the scalp please let me know i love learning about new stuff like this i love it as you can tell please do hit subscribe if you like our videos and give us a big thumbs up we're creating at least three videos each week all about hair care and hair growth i can't wait to see you next time have a lovely week ahead whatever you're doing i hope you enjoy it i think there's going to be another heat wave i'm excited there's more barbecues on the cards can't wait to see you guys next week. See you soon. Mwah. Bye for now.